the uh, the Miz, uh, sorry, the Max, um, and she is a stunning looking ship. But you can straight away see there's a few problems there. You see the blue on the left engine. Um, it's just kind of <coughs> a bit like the uh, a bit like the sea. It's a bit uh, swirly. So uh, maybe um, Star Citizen can uh, improve that somewhat before the, the release, which uh, which they will do. No doubts about that. But um, I mean, she is a beautiful ship. I mean, first of all, you notice there's a few less missiles, but that's to be expected because uh, the engines are a lot bigger. In fact, I think there's an extra set of engines in there. Well, I mean, the look and feel of her is absolutely stunning. Uh, you can see a bit of the uh, right engine there, look. Not quite right. But yeah, I mean, she absolutely beautiful. I mean, yeah, missiles, again, not so many, but as to be expected, this is now a cargo ship, not a, uh, you know, the free answer of old. So let's have a look inside. steps and into this area this door here takes you back towards a cargo area uh, that takes you up towards the um, the cockpit let's have a quick look up there for those of you who've got a freelance already you'll know what it looks like but for those who haven't give you a chance to have a nose there's a bunk area one two three four bunks uh, you've got a couple of spare seats here for I presume passengers Although this can only carry two, but with the seats I presume you can actually carry more. And then the copper area. So you've got two seats, you can either use that one or that one. Take your choice. Have a quick look at the view from down there. There you go. And that's your view from the cockpit of the Freelancer. Uh, towards the next great starships. Um, that's Shark Collectors. Nice aircraft. Right, let's get out of here and look at the cargo hold, because that's where the main difference is going to be. There you go. Look at that cargo hold is so much wider now than uh, the regular freelancer you can really pack some stuff in here um, it <laughs> looks more like the back of a C-17 or something like that well, maybe that's an exaggeration but uh, compared to the old freelancer it's pretty impressive actually maybe the back of a C-130 that's probably more realistic certainly looks about the same sort of size for the C-130s uh, that I've flown Uh, there's a rear turret for a uh, gunner to go up there. Again, it doesn't work on this thing, but let's just pull down the rear hatches. You can see the mechanics of it. And the and the view from the rear. Again, the gun's on top. And uh, yeah, that is certainly a wide body and the four engines. Overall, I'm really pleased with this and hopefully we will start making some credits as soon as uh, the Persistent Universe comes online at some point this year or next year, which will be great. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a quick look at this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Ciao.